going on everyone welcome back to my channel fitting trips we're back from the vlog y'all check it today i'm at the surf shot jetty i have one goal and that's one goal only to do something i've never done before catch my first main grow snapper that's right i've been sitting at home watching all these other youtubers posting at the jetty catching mangrove snappers personally i thought mango snappers were only in florida and i didn't really realize they was here in texas i don't know what they taste like so i'm trying to keep some there's no limit there's no limit so i just gotta catch one one mango snapper today that's the goal i think i can do it <laughs> enjoy the vlog y'all lego all right so yeah man um Every time I come out here, for some reason, this damn jetty tries to kill me. It's been about a year and a half since I've been here with this type of gear. Last time I came out here, I don't know, was it almost a heat stroke or food poisoning? But I was throwing up everywhere on the jetty. I couldn't make it back. Had to have two people randomly help me pull my cart while I kind of crawled behind them. So yeah, I'm coming back with adventures, man. We got plenty of water. I got like three 64 canisters of water. I'll show you that here momentarily. But yeah, man, we're not, we're not struggling, man. We're not struggling. We're glamping, baby. <sighs> yes, sir. Oh, that wind is already picking up. I know I'm in a good spot. People to the right, people to the left. A lot of swells. <gasps> bite, 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 bite. Wait for it. There we go. There we go. We on, baby. It might be a ladyfish. If so, it's perfect. I need some bait. <sighs> oh, we got one. Yeah, I think we got a red. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all not gonna believe this. Y'all not gonna believe this one. Smoked it. Smoked it. <clears throat> Alright y'all, first fish of the day. Little rat red. About six or seven inches. Um, let's get it back in the water and see if we can find the mama. Cause if I can find your mama, I'm gonna eat her, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> let's get it back. <laughs> Is it? We live north of Dallas. Oh, north of Dallas? Yeah, we're just renting a little beach, beach house down there on the beach. Yeah, cool man. So we we've been watching the mm -hmm. Jetty Man. Jetty Man. Uh huh. You. Uh huh. Molina. Molina. Let me help you get up this hill. Yeah, one second here. Thank you. There you go. What's your name, sir? Wilson. 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 Rennell. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Rennell. All right. There you go. There they go, there they go. Come on. Come back and get it. Come back and get it. There we go, there we go. Ladyfish, ladyfish, I need the ladyfish. Got it. Got the ladyfish, y'all. That's what we're talking about. We got the, the ladyfish, aka cut bait. You. Yeah. All right, y'all, so we finally got our ladyfish. First things first, make sure we put it out of misery because we don't want to have it feel pain when I cut the set off. And she's out. There we go. Okay, definitely out now. Oh my God, look at this tangle, bro. All right, y'all, I'm gonna be a while because this doesn't make no damn sense. I'll be back once I get my other rod set up. Yeah, yeah. See you in about an hour. About an hour. Y'all, these birds, I know these birds didn't. Oh my God. You bastards. You mother effing bastards. They took, they took my lady fish. Get, get. All right, okay, so the head is still, you know, um, 
I can work with this, honestly. Bastards. Oh man. Get, get. Took my tail. Bruh. We can't have nothing nice at all. Bastards. There we go. We got it. Oh, I got the mango. Y'all, we got the mango snapper. <gasps> we got the mango snapper, y'all. Oh, we got the mango snapper. We got it. Mango snapper. All right. So we definitely got a mangrove snapper, baby. First mangrove snapper. We got the target species, baby. Target species. Target species, y'all. First mango snapper. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it, to be honest with you. I'm lying. I knew I could do it. So never doubt your boy. I know these things got some gnarly teeth. Put it up close to the camera. Make it seem like it's big. I'm going to make a sandwich out of this bad boy. There's no limit of mango snapper in Texas. <laughs> so I'm really curious to see what they taste like. All right. So my shrimp is going down towards that bait ball. Come on. Come on. There we go. Just let it eat it, baby. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got one. Got one. Got one. Got one. Yo, get on, bud. Get on, bud. There we go. Another one. We got another one, y'all. Bro, we're on. We're on, bro. We got another one, man. I'm dialed in. I'm dialed in, y'all. Nope. I got Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. No problem. You. You're welcome. Thank you. Spice, you got a hook set right now. Just thinking about it. Damn. Got about a half of my shrimp left. You know what? I could make more bait if I just cut it in half. <laughs> Good thinking. But also, I'm ready to go home. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get it. Get it. Oh, we got a big one. No, no, no. Get it. Get it. Get on the boat. Get on the boat, baby. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one, baby. Oh, we got it. We got it. Yeah. PB. Mangrove of the day. We have um about three or four shrimp left. They're dead. I'm thinking I might just like cut those in half and use a very small hook. See if I can catch some more. I can't believe I'm actually doing this, bro. This is amazing. Let's go. And just like that, I'm back at home. That's right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the catch segment of the episode. Welcome to the second part of the episode, aka the clean and cook segment and I'm excited that you're still here with me. If you're still here with me, you my boys and girls. You my boys and girls, okay? So yeah, I'm excited because I never actually tried mango snapper before. Never tried it before. I've been in Texas all my life and never caught one and didn't even know they existed until a few weeks ago. So I'm trying to see if they're as good as people claim to be and we'll see, man. I'm gonna keep it simple and I'm gonna show you what I'm cooking today, all right? Come on, let's go. All right, y'all, so check it out. What I'm gonna be cooking today is some mango snapper mango fish tacos we're gonna have a little chips and salsa we got our heb check it out man if you've never had heb fresh bakery flour tortillas you're missing out i know most of my subs are located in texas if you haven't tried these tortillas you're missing out all right so the ingredients are really simple man we got a little lime some butter i got some um martinio queso cachada um we got some mango pico de gallo from H-E-B, a few um, avocados, I have some baby mix, um, spring mix, organic as well. The garlic is just to hold the fish up. I'm not gonna put 
I'm not gonna put any garlic in my fish taco. And this is the start of the show, y'all. I'm so excited. I caught this one with my second to last shrimp. Second to last shrimp, these boys fight hard. So let's go ahead and get cooking because I got a lot of stuff to do in a short amount of time, but I'm gonna keep it simple. Here we go, yeah. All right, y'all, let's get started. Now, as far as my fillet knife, uh, still probably my favorite fillet knife is a ugly stick. I got this at Academy for $19.99. It puts the Bubba Blade to shame, personally, I think. Uh, I'm gonna smith it up. And just first, you know, sharpen our blade a little bit. Cause you know, the most dangerous knife is a dull knife. One direction. Sorry to my headphone washers. All right, so my boy is nice and frozen. Had him iced out and whatnot. Let me see how I'm gonna do this. I heard like um, mango snapper is good whole. I have four of them. This is the biggest one. Probably take the gills out. I'm not really sure. All right, so let's go ahead and see what this is talking about. Mango snapper. Something about mango snapper, honestly, <laughs> is um, I keep thinking of mango. Like, why do they call mango snapper mango snapper? Do they eat mango? Is it part of a mango tree? What, what's the dealio? Let me know, people. Let me know what's the deal. All right, so I'm just working my blade along the side. I'm gonna try to do it like I do a red. The first thing I'm noticing is these fish are pretty tough. Like the skin is, their scales are interesting. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're gonna get it done though. Here we go right now. I just gotta pick it up a little bit. Just like any other fish. Sorry, I need to move this out the way. They don't wanna dirty up my pretty cupboard, but I have one of these little bacon boards and whatnot there we go all right so i'm curious to see what the meat looks like in these bad boys i'm not the greatest Let's fish filleter honestly to be real with you i haven't filleted a fish in i don't know how long it's been over a year it has definitely been over a year but my main concern is just not killing myself. I woke up this morning with 10 fingers and I definitely plan on going to bed with 10 fingers as well. I got pen, pen, pen. Anyway, so let's check out my filet. All right, so here we go. Honestly, honestly, I don't think it's that bad. What y'all think? Y'all comment below, how was my filet job for my first time filleting a mangrove? I think I did good. I think I did good? All right, bet. I mean, fish heads, oh my God. Bro. I can use this for my crab pods. I have not used filet fish or fish for my crab pods. Save this right now. Put this in an HCB bag. We're gonna put it in a Ziploc bag. Yes, y'all will see this mangrove again on a future episode when I go crabbing. Oh my God, I'm so glad I remember that. Yo, yeah. all right y'all, so what I do now is I have my pan set about medium, not too high, cause I don't wanna burn my butter and whatever. And what I'm gonna do is keep it simple. We're gonna be using this Chikarapa rub. Chikarapa rub, this is, this is a folklore Mexican dog that may or may not be real in Texas. If you know about it, you know about it. Shout out to NBLR Fishing, he put me down on this seasoning. Um, I have my fillets. You know, that big mangrove, it didn't yield that much meat, but we're gonna make it work. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We're gonna make it work. So like I said, y'all, I don't wanna overdo it because this is the first time I tried mango. So I'm just gonna, Keep it light. Let's keep it light, you know. Nothing simple. 
as you can see, just like that. So that'll work. I'm just gonna use half a stick of butter, like that. All right, and the butter she goes. I'm gonna use some virgin olive oil. This kind of helps to prevent from burning your butter. There you go, because we don't want burnt butter. Just gonna put our snapper in there. And this should be cooking, I don't know, two or three minutes. On this side, 535. Yeah, it shouldn't take a lot. Should not take a lot to get that buttery goodness all through. Okay. Yeah, and also we team paper plates here. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no judging. Ain't no judging. So like I said, we're gonna do about two minutes this side. Cause these are very small pieces of fish. Don't want to overcook it. So, come on. All right, a little Michael Jackson there. Yeah, it's cooking already. So yeah, I'm gonna do about a minute per side, and that's it. All right. So here is our mango snapper. Now before I try to continue my recipe for tacos, I just wanna try it in this raw form. You know, see what it tastes like. Let's try a little piece. Just a little piece. Bra. Okay, the hype is real, y'all. If you never had mango snapper, people were telling me like how good it was. Fishing all day, they was like, oh, you're gonna love it. It's really good, it's really good. This is bomb. Mango snapper, what are our ranking? My favorite fish I've ever ate, saltwater, you know, in, the, in our area, was popping up. My second favorite fish is flounder. I would rank, Mango snapper. I think it tastes better than speckled trout. And I think it tastes better than redfish. So yeah, this is number three. Papano is still my favorite. Founder, still my second favorite. But the mango snapper is now the new number three. Personally, mango snapper tastes better than speckled trout and redfish. It is what it is. So hopefully, um, if you come across these, keep them. There's no bag limit in Texas. A lot of them will add up. So let's go ahead and get our taco together and um, go on to the next step, do a full taste test and we'll be done. Let go. y'all right, there you have it that is the mango snapper mango tacos try to say that three times fast um by itself it's great like i said it's probably my top three favorite fish now only thing left is to taste the actual finished product the actual taco itself so let's just dig into it and see what we're working with here we go okay Y'all, you know, food is good. When you take a bite and your eyes roll behind your head. Mm. Put some of that avocado on it too. 
Okay. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. Y'all, check it out, man. If you're still watching this video, give me a thumbs up. I've been working my butt off all day today for this video for y'all. If you ain't subscribed to my channel, this is the first video that you watch of me, hit subscribe. Come join me on my fishing adventures. This is amazing, absolutely amazing. So once again, my name is Ray Nell Roy with Fishing Trips. Thanks for coming through. It's been real, y'all. Peace.